Well, Water Aid was the brainchild of a few guys from the water industry back in the early 80s. And even when it became a charity in its own right, that link with the water industry has always remained, right up to the point now whereby water companies like Northumbrian Water have adopted Water Aid as, as its international charity partner. And what we're talking about with Water Aid isn't just about changing people's lives just a little bit. This is about actually saving lives. It's a real, real worthwhile cause. Currently overseas, there are somewhere like three quarters of a billion people don't have access to safe water. And two and a half billion people, that's 40% of the world's population, don't have access to safe sanitation. And people die as a, as a result of that. So we're not just talking about helping people's lives a little bit, we're actually talking about saving lives. North Rimmer Water have committed to a five year plan which will involve investing uh, a million pounds in Madagascar. That million pound will be translated into uh, safe water, sanitation and hygiene education projects for people who are desperately in need of that and that will touch somewhere around 70,000 people. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world and lies off the southeast coast of Africa. It has a population of 20 million people. Staggeringly, only 41% have access to clean, safe water and only 11% of people have access to a safe private toilet. People spend hours every day collecting filthy water that makes their families ill. 70% of people live below the poverty line and the life expectancy is 63. The £1 million that Northumbrian Water has committed to raise for the people of Madagascar will give them hope and a future. This money will be raised through events, sporting activities, the Water Aid Lottery, donations and partnerships. We will work closely with Ernest Randria Ramala, who works in Madagascar for Water Aid. When Ernest was little, he had to collect water for his family and he didn't have a safe private toilet. He knows the pain and suffering that his communities go through every day. It was really hard because um, as you as a kid, as you are a children, um, bringing the packet of water on a slippery slope, especially during the rainy season, is really hard. Take the packet of water and have to climb back up the hill. It's really hard as a kid because you don't really have the time to, to focus on your study. You don't really have the time to, to play like other kids do. The water is it's really dirty because there are, there, it's an open water source and there are many uh, tiny creatures inside and algae as well. At this time, to be honest, I thought it was normal because we didn't really um, experience something else and this was the, the only option that we had at this time. So in 2012, I got the opportunity to be the, the voices from the field of water aid in Madagascar. It was really a um, very, uh, very good thing happening to me. And um, I love my job because I think uh, I'm doing one of the best jobs in the world. I mean, taking pictures and um, doing filming, uh, getting in, um, interacting with communities and communicating with the others. And especially in terms of um, uh, helping others getting access to support and, and toilet because uh, for me it's kind of a personal fight as well because when I was a kid, you know my story. So, so I would like to say um, a big thank you to Northumbrian water uh, employees because, uh, because, of what, because of what you, you have done so far for, for people, for poor communities in Madagascar. Because uh, I think that what you have done is going to, to change many, many people's lives. And uh, as well, I would like to say a big thank you to um, Northumbrian water um, customers because I think that uh, there is a link between this company and then the, um, the, the customers so a massive thank you for 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 what you you are doing for for the poorest and the neediest communities in Madagascar so on behalf of the Malagasy people thank you I'd just like to thank everybody that supported Northumbrian Water Aid in whatever capacity. So that's all of our long-term partners and supporters, all of our customers that have very kindly donated and continue to do donate to us every single month. It makes such a magnificent difference. You know, there are people overseas who aren't in a position to say thank you to those people. So on behalf of, of everybody overseas who's benefited and who will benefit in the future, a real thank you to everybody that's helped us in the past.